Hey, Bob from Super Game Co. I've got here with me my new two-player arcade build. I call it the Mini Arcade Maxi. It's, uh, it's truly the best machine I've ever built. I've spent countless hours designing and building it. I have built it out of 16mm MDF, so it's very sturdy. Uh, on the sides here, I've got some T-molding. There's a 19-inch display with uh, just clear acrylic over the top of it there. I've got two 25-watt speakers backlit marquee. I use the Sanwa joysticks uh, on the side. Got arcade, uh, sorry, buttons for pinball there. I've just put these stickers on here. I've got many sticker options available. Uh, in the future I'll also have full side art options as well. Back panel here. We've got a button here just for turning the LED lights on and off so they're not shining in your face while you're playing. Couple of function buttons here, you can program them to do heaps of stuff. 120 mil fan, I've got the mini amp over there, just a standard power socket, and this here is a power button. Uh, the back panel is held closed by magnets, so you can just open it up and get to the internals. Inside this particular machine, I've got a uh, an Asus ROG gaming mini PC. Uh, th there will be several PC options available. Let's turn it back around. On the bottom I've got some rubber feet and uh, this panel here opens if you need to access the buttons or joysticks. You can do that. Uh, that's pretty much the hardware part of it. I'll, I'll move on to the software so you can see what it can do. Okay, I've got Hyper, Hyperspin installed which is a great, uh, great system. Um, there are many, many consoles and different systems on here. All the Nintendo stuff. All the Sega stuff. PlayStation. Atari. Commodore. And of course MAME. Uh, you can also run PC games on here. I'll just uh, show you MAME. So first button here to select. This button, second button is to go back. Third button, uh, you can add games to favorites or you can view your existing favorites. Uh, so I'll just choose a game from my favorites. Uh, let's go Street Fighter 2. I just need to insert a coin. We'll go uh, two play up. Bit hard to play from this angle. And uh, if you hold down the credit button and press the one play button, it'll exit the game. We've also got, if I can find it, uh, PC games, at the moment I've got Street Fighter V, so it does run modern games, uh, depending on which PC option you go for. Takes a bit to load this one. This game plays really well with the arcade controllers. So hard to play from this angle. There you get the idea. Works pretty well. 
uh, to quit this one, you've got to uh, do it. You can't use just the exit game buttons. Just got to do it through the menu. Check out some pinball. I can find it. Oh, it's not in there. Future pinball. Pinball actually works really well. I haven't got all the graphics on this one yet. Uh, really old school games. There you go, insert a coin as you would with any game. One play button. And the two play button launches the ball. And then you got your flippers, the side buttons. You get the idea. So I just want to load up some N64 here. Now you're probably thinking, how the hell am I going to play GoldenEye with a freaking arcade joystick? Well, that's when you pull out these bad boys right here. Two wireless controllers. Get in there like that. And now you're playing Goldeneye. Just clear out of there. And I'll just show you maybe a two player game, maybe Mario Kart 1 player, 2 player. Also works with, uh, the controllers work with GameCube and PlayStation and anything else you want it to work with really. Uh, I've just turned the lights off so you can check out the marquee backlight and the LED buttons at the front there. I hope you like my mini arcade maxi. It's available on my website, just there. And uh, hit me up in the comments for any questions. Send me an email. That's it. Thanks for watching.